morning and welcome to a brand new video. It is officially May and the sun is out and it feels like summer is finally here. At least I hope it's here to stay, fingers crossed, but I don't want to jinx it or anything. Um, I'm actually on my way today to go and grab a spot of lunch with my good friend Nikki. Um, we're going to one of my favorite places in London, like one of my top three favorite places to eat um, called Shinju. And um, they have the best Korean food, so I'm actually introducing her to it today. I'm um, sure I've been before, so I don't think she's going to be disappointed. I honestly can't stop raving about it enough. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm super hungry, as always. Um, and I'm like saving room for lunch because honestly, the portions at Jinju are so generous. They're just absolutely delicious. So I'm very excited to have my bimmy bat and my prawn, whatever they're called, like little cocktail stick things. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much me in a nutshell. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hang a look at the menu. They have this great little option, so you can have like a Saturday brunch or a Sunday brunch until I think it's 3.30 on a Saturday and 6 o'clock on a Sunday. But these are delicious, so if you're ever in Jinju, definitely get the Sewu Pops. Um, and I absolutely love, where are the Bimmy Bats? Here we go. The Bimmy Bats are delicious, so you get to have a choice of um, either kind of kimchi, tofu, um, or meat, depending on your preferences. But I absolutely love um, like the chicken with this. It's absolutely delicious. So can't stop raving about this place enough. But absolutely divine. Definitely going to Chinchu if you're ever in town. But there's also like the main menu as well, so you can have a look at like the options and just order directly from the menu. <laughs> just a lunch with Nikki. We have our delicious um, little prawn, I can't remember what they're called, but little prawn sticks with the delicious secret sauce. And we have salmon sashimi. Let's dig in. Yum. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Good to see you. Good to see you. Dinner is here. Got our bimmy baps. Nikki's got hers. What did you get? You went for tofu. I have tofu, beef, yes. and kimchi. So nice. I'm in my protein. <laughs> <laughs> gotta reach my goals, you know. Delicious. And then we have this amazing like secret sauce which is absolutely divine. So I'm gonna enjoy this. So it's the next day. I didn't realise I didn't actually film an outro following lunch with Nikki. But it was so, so lovely catching up with her. I've not seen Nikki in several years, obviously, given COVID and everything. So we had lots to regroup on. Um, and as I've mentioned so many times before, Jinju um, is like one of my favorite places in London to go. It's probably like one of my top three places to eat in the city. If you want delicious, like, you know, delicious, like Korean food. I can't get the words out. Delicious Korean food, um, substantial portions. Um, really quite competitive in terms of the pricing in the heart of Carnaby then um, Jinju is like your place to go and it's like perfect as well because you can go for like a little shop um, either before or after you've had your dinner so what's not to love today I think I just have a bit of a chill day I'm gonna go to the gym I'm not been in several weeks so I'm really really keen to kick some butt in the gym um, and yeah and then I think later on I'm gonna be going out with my housemates to um, pergola on the roof so every kind of like spring summer time um, pergola opens up in Paddington so it's like towards um, Sheldon Square area which is like one of my like go-to places really um, and it just has such a really cool kind of like pop-up style um, eateries and like drink spots and um, yeah I'm really excited to go I've not been in several years so it should be good and um, obviously I will be taking you along with me and then I think later on this week I am going to the V&A to go to an exhibition, um, the Fabergé 
Romance and Revolution exhibition, which I was supposed to go to back in December, but given like the Omicron variant, I didn't go. So, yeah, I'm really excited to go. I'm gonna go with one of my, um, it, well, she actually used to be my line manager, but she's now a friend, of a good friend of mine. So um, I'm gonna go, to, go in together to that. And um, obviously when and where I can, I'll take you along with me. So I'll see you in the next clip. <laughs> so much fun yesterday at Pergola. Um, if you haven't been before, I'd say go at least once in the summer. Um, it's such a good vibe. Now I am heading to the gym um, during my lunch break. I just want to squeeze in a quick workout um, when it's a little bit quieter. Um, I guess when I work from home, it just makes sense to go in the day where I can. And yeah, and I got the V&A later on this week. So I'll see you in the next clip. So it's a few days later and it's an absolutely gorgeous May sunny day in London. Um, I went to the V&A the other night. Um, I didn't really vlog much to be honest. It's just one of those kind of situations where I was just like very much in the moment. I did try and get some clips um, of the Fabergé exhibition, which if they're actually decent, I'll like put them on the screen somewhere here. But it was such a great evening. The Fabergé pieces are just so intricate and exquisite. There's just no way of really like articulating just how beautiful they are. Um, and I only really kind of knew about the Fabergé eggs and that's how limited my knowledge was of Fabergé, but it really did expand way beyond that. So I think the exhibition is kind of wrapping up, but if you do get a chance, it's still running, I would definitely recommend um, paying a visit. Me, me and my friend actually went for dinner, although we were kind of running late, so we missed our first reservation. Um, and then we were trying to go for like eight o'clock, but um, we kind of like, were so kind of in the moment that by the time we left the exhibition, it was like, quarter past nine so then we went to go and find a restaurant everywhere was like we're closing up um we're like low on resourcing so we can't um accommodate you this evening um and then after like several different kind of attempts we found um some kind of like mum and pop kind of style um like italian eatery anyway i don't know what's happened but my camera's cut out but um i think i was saying that it was good but it wasn't anything to kind of write home about. And then last night, I went out with my housemates to a really great Lebanese place called Yala, Yala, I think. Um, so I'm gonna insert that clip here, and I think I'm gonna call it a day on this vlog. So I will see you in my next video. <laughs>